Hey everybody, today we're doing a special video for all of our friends and customers on the other side of the world over there. All you guys in the UK and you guys in the Europe in general. We get a lot of uh, a lot of orders from you guys and a lot of emails and feedback from you guys and I realize we're quite different over here versus you guys over there. You're not quite the hobbyists that we are. We're DIY guys over here. And we're more inclined to just run down to the lumber yard, get some MDF, and pull out the table saw and start cutting up cabinets and building speaker cabinets. And of course, around here we've got Builders Lumber and Builders Wholesale, and we've got Lowe's and Home Depot and Sutherland's Lumber Center and Ace Hardware Store and all that stuff is everywhere here. We can go pick up whatever wood we need and whatever tools we need and it, that's just kind of how we do things over here whereas over there you guys tend to want things a little more complete you know finished product kind of like our customers over here that live in apartments so I get it we're different we say things that are different we say some things that are different that are really hilarious to me in fact that thing on the end of a pencil we call it an eraser you guys call it, say it with me, a rubber. And see, for us, a rubber is something completely different and goes on the end of something different entirely. Uh, you guys also call a cigarette a fag. See, over here, a fag is also something completely different. Also, I get a kick out of uh, my favorite car guys over there on your side of the world. Jeremy Clarkson always says, rubbish. That stuff is rubbish. And that's hilarious to me because we don't say rubbish so much over here. We say that something is garbage if it's bad. Oh, that's garbage. So it's funny that we have those differences, especially in automotive, in fact. Um, for us, you guys, you guys mix up some of those <laughs> words as well. The trunk is something you guys call the boot. And the hood of the car, you guys call the bonnet. So over here, a boot is something you put your foot in. And a bonnet is a frilly head covering for a woman to keep her hair from blowing in the wind. <laughs> oh, you also say aluminum. <laughs> and we say aluminum. <laughs> I know, you think we're, um, we sound a little bit like hillbillies down here in the south and maybe we do we think your ladies accent is very pretty <laughs> kind of sexy for you guys mm, not so much <laughs> so yeah we're different we're different i get it um you guys are more likely to go buy a supercar we're more likely to go build one out of an old muscle car or a pickup truck or make it in, build an old rat rod or something. We, we tend to make things ourselves where you tend to want to just buy it. So that becomes a problem when we're, when we're looking at high end audio stuff for us to send you a finished product. It's a lot more expensive. We have to, of course, just completely assemble it and it's, and it is more expensive, but then the, the shipping is much heavier. And then the duty is much higher because the cost of it is a lot higher. And you guys just kind of cringe at those duty fees. And I don't blame you. I mean, even back and forth, um, some of the fees that these countries put on things and the duties you charge us makes it really hard to import a lot of things. So I have something for you guys today. Uh, a company came to me not too long ago, a new startup company called Capice Audio. And they wanted me to design some finished product for them. And they started describing what they were looking for and what they wanted in a product. And I said, you know what? I have a product like that already. I have the XLS Encores that I think you guys will like. So I sent those guys some XLS Encore kits. And they did like them. Uh, it's hard not to like these. These kill. They, everyone loves the XLS Encores. And we sell tons of these things especially on feedback from other customers. Um, so what they did was they took that and ran with it a little bit and started working with different cabinet material types. They wanted to do something in solid hardwoods. And I said, eh, be careful with hardwoods because 
hardwoods tend to ring and resonate. Uh, but they found that they could use some hardwood called ash, which is very commonly available. And I've used ash before here on some speakers. I made some uh, ash side panels on some open baffle speakers that had some oriental veneer, oriental wood veneer on them. It was a dark wood and the ash contrasted and it looked great. And I found out real quickly why us Americans over here make our baseball bats out of ash. Man, that wood is hard. So it's actually not that bad of a material to do speakers out of because it's so hard. The resonant frequency tends to go a little higher. And with the braces that are added and the no-res that they're lining in there, uh, the no-res pretty well takes care of the ringing. The, a higher frequency ring from, from a really hard material like aluminum or something like that. Notice I said aluminum. Uh, is a little easier to control than one that's resonating at a lower frequency. The lower lower resonances tend to add a lot more bloom to the sound and things like that. So what they did worked out really well. And I'll get Ron to throw some pictures up uh, of some of their product. Maybe we can pop some stuff up here and let you see what they've done with the XLS Encores. They've done XSLSs, which is the floor standing version, and they've recently done some of the XMTM model. And not only are they doing all of that out of beautiful ash hardwood, but they've also doing um, diffusers, they're doing racks, they're doing speaker stands, they're doing all of that to match, and it looks great. And they've been going to some of the shows over there and doing really well, not just showing their work, but the speakers, of course, sound really great as well. So all of you guys over there in the UK, you can order these speakers straight from Capice Audio, and they're already done, they're finished, they're gorgeous. You can open them up right out of the box and set them up and start burning those in and playing them and enjoying them, and you don't have to worry about building a kit, making something or anything like that. So uh, I'm going to have Ron drop some links down below where you can see their show coverage and some of the reviews and links to the website and things like that. And take a look at their products and I think you guys will be really impressed and it helps solve the problem that we have of getting finished product over there to you. You guys can buy it straight from those guys and you can save a lot of money that you would normally spend on duties and stuff like that. So. Hopefully this guy, this will help you guys out. I appreciate everybody that's watching. I appreciate you guys over at Capice Audio and the work that you've done. You're, you're doing us proud. Those speakers look fantastic. So that's it for this video, and I will see you guys in the next one.